What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about iOS 11.1, iOS 11.2 beta, and whether you should update to any of these versions if you're planning to jailbreak. And also, if you're already on iOS 10.x, if you should update to iOS 11.0.x. Now, as you can see, I'm running iOS 11.3.3 in here, and it's currently running perfectly fine. And the reason I didn't update to iOS 11 on this particular machine is going to be explained later on. So if we go ahead and here on the Apple developer portal, you can see that you have the iOS 11.2 beta available, and it's been uh, actually uploaded yesterday. Now, of course, this is the 11.2 beta one, and it's only designed for developers for the moment and it's darn unstable. I installed this on my um, iOS 11 test machine, which is an iPod Touch sixth generation, and boy, did I lose my battery power quickly. Now, uh, of course, as any other beta one, this might not be the, the best choice, but should you actually update to iOS 11.1 then, because it's been actually released today. So if you take a look in here on IPSW.me, and uh, I selected the iPhone 7 GSM, but pretty much any other device supporting iOS 11 got the update, you can see that today Apple has published the iOS 11.1, which is the build number 15B93, with 2.49 gigs on this particular device. And um, as you can see, iOS 11.0 is no longer signed, so you have only this particular versions being signed currently, and I expect iOS 11.0.1 to probably drop in the future, and iOS 11.0.2 uh, in a few days or maybe a week, and then we're going to probably get only iOS 11.1 and iOS 11.0.3. Now, if you're planning to jailbreak, you should not go to iOS 11.1. Yes, the battery power is a little bit better compared to iOS 11.0.3, and 0.1, but it's still not that great. And um, if you compare the iOS 11.1 battery with the uh, one from the iOS 11.2 beta is even worse. So um, if you're currently planning to jailbreak, your best bet would be to stay on iOS 10.x. That being iOS 10.3.3, 10.3.2, 10.3.1, or any other version of iOS 10.x. As you probably know, Saigon is currently in progress with you know iOS 10.2.1 jailbreak, which yes, it's not iOS 10.3.3, but at least it's better than being stuck with iOS 10.2 as the last jailbroken firmer. So it's a step ahead. And uh, yeah, as I said, iOS 11.x is definitely not recommended for jailbreaks for the moment. And I do not see any jailbreak for iOS 11.x in the near future. So if you're planning to jailbreak, as I said, your best bet is iOS 10.x. Now, iOS 11.2, how you can get it? Well, if you're a registered developer, you have the download button in here, and it's going to install the profile on your device, and you're good to go. But if you are not a registered developer, which means paying the developer fee uh, annually, then you can probably find the profile on the internet. I'm going to make a video on how to install iOS 11.2 beta without having a um, developer account, but you can check out my previous one in the description down below. It still applies because the profile is is the same. Now, very important, when you're getting the restore images, you know, the IPSWs like these, do not get them from any sources that look sketchy, because yes, you probably know if you modify an IPSW, it's not going to restore. So they can't really bundle malware into them. But uh, before you get to download the actual IPSW, you might see a lot of crap, you might see a lot of ads, and, um, you know, it's it's bad. Just do not get iOS beta IPSWs from sketchy sources. It's better to install the profile and do it automatically through Apple system. Now, uh, of course, if you're interested in iOS 11 and you don't really care about jailbreaks, between iOS 11.2 beta and iOS 11.1, which is now a stable release, I would recommend, of course, iOS 11.1. Now, about the features in iOS 11.2 beta 1, I'm going to talk in a upcoming video, but um, it's way better to install iOS 11.1, as I said, if you do not care about jailbreaking, because it's much more stable than, you know, a beta. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it about this, uh, this confusion with iOS 11.x and iOS 11.2 and 0.1. There are a lot of iOS 11 firmwares currently available, both in beta and as, you know, releases, 
And you know, choosing the best one for you is actually a hard task, especially since iOS 11 seems to have a very, very big problem with the battery power and there are still bugs to be fixed. So um, I would definitely recommend staying on iOS 10.3.3 or lower if possible, but if you really want to taste that iOS 11, then you should probably go with iOS 11.1. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I will make an in-depth review of iOS 11.2 as well as a video on how to install iOS 11.2 without a developer account in the upcoming video. So stay tuned. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.